Hi guys, today I will show you how to make 12 volt lithium battery pack using these 18650 cells. And each cell is 2600 mAh. Also you need this battery housing, it will protect the cells from external damages. You can find purchasing link in video description. You also need nickel strip for welding the cells together, because soldering method can explode these cells. And obviously a spot welder, I made my own, you can find its video on my channel. I used this 3D printed battery holder for easy spot welding, it will help you to hold the batteries at correct position during welding. I first placed 3 cells in holder with all positives upwards, with this way we can connect them in parallel. You can connect more cells in parallel to increase capacity of battery pack. And give 3 to 4 spot welding shots on each battery terminal, for strong connections. And by following the same process, let's make 3 more parallels of battery packs like this. Now I already made 4 parallels of 3.7 volt battery packs and to multiply its voltage, let's connect them in series. As you can see, all 4 parallel battery packs are connected in series. I used this paper tape to insulate the battery connections. This is battery negative. And positive of this first battery pack is connected with second battery packs negative. So here, mark as B1. And second battery packs positive is connected with third battery packs negative. So here, mark as B2. And also third battery packs positive is connected with fourth battery packs negative. So here, mark as B3. And this is fourth battery packs positive. Now all we need is this BMS board. I used 4S 20 ampere BMS for 4 battery pack series. If you want to make 3 pack series, then you need to use 3S BMS board. And after applying little solder on connection points, use multicolor wires for connection. And connect the BMS with battery according to the markings done earlier. After completing wiring, solder output wires. And then, use paper card and paper tape for final insulation. Now finally, transfer the battery pack into the box and use some foam pieces to secure the battery pack tightly. Now, it is time to solder the output wires to housing lathe. And then fix the lathe using super glue. Now our final battery is ready to be used in any application. Before we test it, let's check the maximum output voltage. A fully charged 4S battery pack can give 15.8 volts maximum output and usually is used for 12 volt applications. But if voltage seems higher for your application, then go for only 3S battery pack with maximum output of 12 volts. Now I will use this 21 watts 12 volt bulb for testing. And as you can see it works perfectly. 
If you would like to purchase similar ready-made lithium battery, then you can purchase it from Room Solar. They are selling high-quality solar panels and lithium batteries at affordable prices. I also ordered one sample from them. And as you can see this battery has also branding from Loom Solar. And this lithium-ion phosphate battery is even better than lithium-ion batteries, in terms of 4 times more cycle life and better safety than lithium-ion batteries. Also the voltage of each cell is 3.2 volts, so output of 4 cells in series, will be same as normal lead acid batteries. And also these batteries can withstand with higher loads without any problem than the lithium batteries. You can just visit loomsolar.com. And here you can find different capacities of lithium batteries and also high quality solar panels in affordable prices. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. For more amazing and useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.